Good day and welcome to today's class. Today's class is a continuation of our previous classes on whole numbers for GSS2 students. At the previous classes, we have looked at the following objective. One, we have been able to express whole numbers in standard forms. Also, we are able to express decimal numbers in standard forms. I was also in that in one of those classes, we were able to look at indices and some of the laws of indices. We also look at the applications. In today's class, we shall continue on that topic, taking the third objective, which says we should find the prime factors of numbers not greater than 200. We shall also look at how to express numbers as product of its prime factors. We shall take the fifth objective also, which says we should find the least common multiples of numbers, that is the LCM, as well as six to find the highest common factor, which is the HCF of numbers. By the special grace of God, we shall be able to take these um, subtopics in today's class. So at the end of this class, you should be able to explain the meaning of um, prime factors. What do you understand by prime factor? You should also be able to find the prime factors of numbers not greater than 200 using the composition method. You should be able to take the third uh, objective, which is, which is to find the highest common factor, that is the HCF of numbers. So let's look at factors. What do you understand by factors? And then we shall look at prime factors. By definition, we have it that a factor is a number that leaves no remainder when it is used to divide another whole number. It is a number that leaves no remainder when it is used to divide another whole number. For example, 1, 3, 5, and 15 are factors of 15. These are said to be factors of 15 because these numbers can divide 15 without a remainder. For example, when you divide 15 by 1, it gives you 15. That means it is a factor of 15 because the definition says a factor must be able to divide a whole number or be able to divide that number without a remainder because a factor is said to be a number that divides another number without a remainder. 3 can go into 15 five times, meaning 3 is a factor of 15 and 5 is also a factor of 15 because 5 can divide 15 three times without a remainder. 15 itself is also said to be its own factor because it can divide itself one time without a remainder. So don't forget, a factor is a number that leaves no remainder when it is used to divide another whole number. Then let's look at prime number before we look at prime factor. A prime number is a number that has only one and itself as factors. A prime number, I said, is a number that has only one and itself as factors, meaning these numbers that it is only one and themselves that can divide themselves are said to be prime numbers. For example, 2, 3, 7, 17, and 23 are prime numbers. Why are they said to be prime numbers? They are said to be prime numbers because they have only two factors, one and itself. For example, two can only be divided without a remainder by one and itself. One divided by two is two, and two divided by two is one. So no other number can divide two without a remainder. That is why we said two is a prime number. Also three, same thing goes with three. Three can only be divided by one and three without a remainder. Same thing with 7, 17, and 23. And these are said to be prime numbers. We have other prime numbers, but for the purpose of this class and this example, I'm just stating the first um, five prime numbers. Okay, 11 is also part of it. So these are just examples. Now, what do we understand by a prime factor? Having known what a prime number is and having known what a factor is, what is a prime factor? I say the prime factor is a factor that is a prime number. A prime factor 
is a factor that is a prime number. For example, 2 and 5 are the prime factors of 20. So when you are asked to find the prime factors of a number, you first of all look at the factors of that number and thereafter being able to identify those that are prime numbers in that factors. We refer to them as prime factors. So a prime factor is a factor that is a prime number. We can always write every known prime number as a product of prime factors. We can always write every known prime number as a product of prime factors. And I'm going to show you how that can be done. Let's take um, some activity 